Okay, so here's some more proof practice. I know I had requests for some more two-column proofs. So um, this is two-column proof practice three. So given that angle A is congruent to angle C and DB bisects angle ABC, prove that segment AD is congruent to segment CD. Okay, so here's our little diagram over here. So the first thing that I always tell you to do is mark off what you've been given on the picture. So angle A is congruent to angle C. So we're going to come over here and say, okay, angle A is congruent to angle C. Good. Um, and then as far as DB bisects angle ABC, we're going to do something with this in a second. But first, let's set up our two-column proof. Okay, so, whoops, here we go. So as you know, we've got the statements on one side. and our reasons on the other. Okay, so the first thing that I've always told you to do is write your givens. Write your givens, okay? So our first statement is going to be that angle A is congruent to angle C, and the reason for that is that it is given to us. And then the second given is that, I'm going to try to fit it all on one line here. So DB, segment DB, bisects angle ABC. Okay, good. And that's also, that's also given. Okay, so now what I've always taught you to do is look at what you're given oops, and see if that can lead you anywhere first. So the fact that angle A is congruent to angle C, there's not really much we can do with that just yet. Um, and the fact that DB bisects angle ABC, though, there is something we can do with that. Okay. What we know is that if segment DB right here is coming into angle ABC right here, we know that if it's a bisector, okay, that it's splitting the angle into two congruent angles. So that means we know this angle right here is congruent to this angle right here. And those two angles are angle A, B, D, and angle C, B, D. And remember, to name an angle, just kind of trace around the triangle. So it starts here, A to B to D, C to B to D. Good. So that actually can be our, our next step. Okay, so angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD. And the reason for that is definition of angle bisector. And you can do some abbreviations. Always check with your teacher. They might have certain things they require. So you always do what they say. Um, but what I would say is you can just write def for definition. And angle, you can just draw an angle. Okay, perfect. Now, what I'm noticing right now is this is kind of all bunched together and I'm a little confused. So remember another trick I told you was split the triangle apart. Okay, or split it into the two triangles that you're trying to, to do something with because then you can see things a little bit better. Okay, and it's okay if it's not exact. I mean, I drew this freehand, and as you can tell, it's not perfect, and that's fine because we're just using it to kind of help ourselves. It's not like we're submitting this somewhere. Okay, good, and then mark off what you know so we know that angle A is congruent to angle C. And we were told that angle A, B, D is congruent to angle C, B, D. And that's because it's um, D, B is an angle bisector. Okay, perfect. So now, if I want to prove two segments congruent, I'm looking down here and I'm saying, okay, A, D, C, D. All right. If I can prove the triangle is congruent first, then I can prove by C, P, C, D, C that the, the segments are congruent. So let's try to prove these triangles congruent. Well, I'm kind of stuck, okay, with what I've learned so far in geometry. So I got to start looking for those things that we talked about. Look for those vertical angles. I don't see any. Look for shared angles. 
I don't see any. And what was the third thing I always told you to look for? Shared sides. Do you see how both triangles share side BD? You can see it clearly in the top figure there. And then when we split it apart, look, BD, this is side BD, okay? And this is side BD, so they're the same. Okay, they share that side. So that's going to be our step three. And that is that segment BD is congruent to itself. And that is because of the reflexive property. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now, are the triangles congruent? They are. Because we have an angle, we have an angle, and we have a side. And we remember that two triangles can be congruent by angle, angle, side. Okay, angle, angle, side. And again, trace along that triangle. Angle, angle, side. This is not angle, side, angle. Okay, start at one angle. Okay, then travel along the triangle, and the first thing you get to is the other angle, so it's angle, angle, and then you get to the side, so angle, angle, side. So that means we know that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD, okay, and the reason for that is angle, angle, side. All right, we're almost done. So if the triangles are congruent, that means all of their corresponding parts are congruent. So that must mean that AD is congruent to CD. And we are done. So AD, segment AD, is congruent to segment CD. And the reason for that is our favorite C, P, C, T, C. Nicely done.